This is how my sorrel plants were looking by the end of the season last year. I had been able to harvest quite a few times. I've been able to get lots of seeds, but towards the end of the summer, they started to yellow and it was so hard to keep it watered. In the heat of the summer, the pots dried out so quickly. So I'm gonna try something different when I plant my sorrel in a pot this year. Keep watching and I'll show you what I'm gonna try. This is the 17 gallon tote that I planted my sorrel in last year. And it worked. And it may even work better if you just use one or two plants instead of three like I did. But this year, I'm gonna use this 10 gallon pot. But what's different is that I've cut the bottom out of this pot. So my thinking is that since I've cut the bottom out of this pot, the roots will eventually grow into the soil and require less watering since the pot won't dry out as quickly. It will also give me the benefit of being able to protect my plants from the rabbits, which is the reason I don't do a lot of in-ground planting anyway. So I'm starting by digging a little trench for the pot to sit in. So that'll make it more stable and it won't be easily blown over in the wind. This soil I'm digging up is gonna go right in the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna add some potting soil and amend that, and then I'll be ready to plant. Now that I've got my pot in place exactly where I wanted it, I've filled it up with potting soil and I've added the fertilizer. Now I'm getting out my three starts that I started from seeds I saved from last year and I'm deciding which two I'm going to plant. Now it's time to plant and this soil is nice and loose so it's going to be easy to plant in. I started these seeds in just Jiffy Seed Starting Mix and they've been inside under the grow lights and they've already been hardened off so they're ready to go in the ground. Hardening off these seedlings has helped to get them ready not only for the sun but we've been having some pretty heavy winds so it looks like the stems have gotten thicker and they should be ready to withstand some of that heavy wind we've been getting. So it's been a few weeks and this is how the plants are looking. They're progressing nicely and I've added a trellis just to give them a little more stability in the wind as they get taller. So far I'm pleased with how this new method is working out and I'm looking forward to seeing how the plant continues to grow. Thanks for watching.